Hey, so um, today I'm back to writing poems. I'm still not feeling the best I've ever felt, but life goes on. Um, and the next poem I had to write was about hope, and this is actually the last poem for the Facebook challenge, so I'm pleased that that is over with because there are only so many poems I can write about begging strips. Happens, I guess. Um, but if you guys ever have any suggestions for poems, anything like that, you can always feel free to leave me a comment on YouTube or, um, you know, send me something on Facebook, whatever, uh, and I will write a poem for you because that's what I do. Um, so yeah, this poem is about hope and fairy tales and the universe and a lot of ridiculous things. I may have taken on a bit too much, but we'll see. We'll see if you guys like it. Okay, so... Um, it's called Magic. Once upon a time, before Cinderella or Beauty or Beasts, the world was measurelessly small, and when it exploded, the nothing was painted in somethings and fairy tales began. We were the lost shoes, the books, and the library the beasts gave beauty. We were the fairy dust, the magic carpets, the magic beans, the magic flutes. We were magic. Because when stars were being born, we were the friction between them. When the first forest burnt down, we were the trees and the flames, both. When the first child stuck her finger in a socket, we were the electricity, the sting, the scare, the danger. We are not the stars of our own fairy tales. We are both the stars and the fairy tales. We are mermaids and genies and unicorns and sirens and comets and Atlantis. And we are magic because we are made of hope, because we've had hope, because we are hope. Okay, so the idea for that poem actually came from the fact that, um, well, there are a couple things. First thing, I, I was thinking about the universe earlier today, because um, on Tumblr there was this really cool image of a brain cell, and then right next to it was an image of um, what scientists imagine the universe as a whole looks like, which is something I can't even imagine how they came up with it. But the weird thing was, they looked almost exactly the same. Um, so of course, you know, Tumblr being Tumblr, Tumblr is a social media website, by the way, with a lot of really nerdy people like me. Um, but Tumblr, one person commented, wait, what if, what if our universe is just somebody's brain cell? So of course that freaked me out. I'm always thinking about these things. Um, and what if our brain cells have people just like us living in them and they don't know and I don't know. <laughs> um, but that was cool and that kind of got me to thinking about the fact that, um, well, they say that like when the Big Bang happened everything was, you know, contained in this tiny, tiny, tiny little atom-sized thing and then it exploded and it's still expanding, but that every single element in the world, um, has its place in us somehow. Um, so literally we're made of the same things the stars are made of, we're made of the same things everything's made of. Um, and that's always been really beautiful to me. So uh, that's where I got the idea for the poem. Um, yeah, and my Aunt Kathy gave me uh, the topic, Hope, so thank you Aunt Kathy, I will tag you in this. And you guys have a great day.